I now have Flame up and running to a point where I can upload clips into it. And before I show you Flame, I'm quickly going to take you through the process that I have to go through in order to get my clips into a format which will be accepted by Flame. The clip that I'm going to play around with today is the universe that I created in Maya 6.5. The format which this clip currently exists in cannot be uploaded directly into Flame. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to break it up into its individual frames and upload those to Flame. The little program that I'm going to use in order to do this is FFmpeg, which is a program which runs through the terminal and it will convert the video into its individual frames. The program FFmpeg is command line driven, so what I've done is I've already typed the command line out and pasted it on my clipboard and I'm now going to paste it into the terminal to make things a little bit quicker and hit enter and once I do so you can see that it does a little bit of work I'm now going ahead and close this folder and close the terminal and I'm going to open up the folder which the files were downloaded into and as you can see all the individual frames are present the video itself consists of frames from number 1 to 49 now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the frames including the first one and open up my folder which I've got on my network file system which I shared through with the Tezra and within this folder there's a subfolder called RGB and I'm going to move all these files into this folder. Okay, the individual frames are now in a position where they can be shared with the Tezra. In my last video the menu system within Flame wasn't displaying correctly and this was because I didn't have the correct display option set. I was running it in a dual channel display mode and Flame cannot be run in this mode. So what I've gone and done is I've created a custom VFO file which I'm now going to load which allows me to run the machine with an output of 1920 by 1080 at 60 Hz to a single screen. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and load the VFO. Display properties and I now have a custom VFO which I'm now loading. Okay, I'm just going to log out quickly. Log back in. And you can now see that the desktop is now mirrored on both screens. Okay, I'm quickly going to reposition my icons on my desktop. Okay, and space them out nicely. Okay, I'm now going to open up my shared folder. And it's got the subfolder RGB in it. And you can see that all the individual frames which I created on my Mac are now present in this folder. Okay, I'm going to open up my images folder on my IREX desktop and I'm now going to copy these files across into this folder. Okay, and there they appear. Well, that's actually been moved. That folder on the Mac is now empty. Okay, so all of the images, 1 to 49, now appear in my images folder on my IREX desktop in root. Now I'm quickly going to log out of root and log into Flame and the first thing that you notice is it looks a lot better than it did the last time. The screen is now running in a native resolution of 1920 by 1080. I'm not going to start Flame up. Let's see how this goes. Okay, this menu already looks better. It's now positioned in the center of the screen and is complete. Okay, the program's still going to moan twice about the resolution that I've set, and this is because the VFO that I'm using is a custom one which I made this afternoon. It's not a standard for flan. Okay, 
However, it does allow the menu system to run correctly. So when the desktop is loaded, you notice that all the buttons are in the correct place and I now have full view of the screen. I'm now going to load the image files that I created. So I'm going to navigate to the image folder in root, which I loaded the files into. Okay, desktop, images, and there you have it. RGB and its files 1 to 49. Okay, I'm now going to load them into Flame. Okay, there is a little bit of an issue that I'm having at the moment, which I'll have to sort out. And that is that I can't actually save these clips to the library at the moment because it says that it is unable to lock the clip. So I will have to sort this out in future. But it is at least now working to a point where I can actually play the clips in and in flame. So I've selected the timeline view and I'm putting it on repeat. And there the clip goes. Okay, as I learn more and more about the software, I will release more videos in future concerning it. Okay, I'm going to go and stop this. Exit the play mode. And from preferences, I'm going to exit flame. Thanks very much for watching.